Hey everybody, it's Angel here, aka Twistar, aka your new nail best friend, aka the coolest person you've never met yet. Welcome to my very first full length YouTube tutorial. To pop my uh, YouTube cherry, I went with all things that I love. So I chose some bright ass neons. I went with nail stamping, uh, sharpies, and of course, The Walking Dead as my theme because we all know it's the greatest show in the history of ever. Now, before we get into the juicy stuff, I'm gonna show you everything that I use to complete this mani. So my very first YouTube tutorial starts in three, two, one. 17, 42. <laughs> okay, I'm really gonna start now. Here's everything you need. China Glaze White on White and Riga White Out. Painted Polish Midnight Mischief. On the left, Orly Thrill Seeker. On the right, Orly Key Lime Twist. This is my favorite stamping plate from 2015. This is the Zombie Love stamping plate from Uber Chic, and I'm a huge Walking Dead fan, so if you're a fan, you have to have this. This is the extra large non-sticky stamper um, from, also from Uber Chic, and it was my first time using this stamper, and it's supposedly similar to the uh, Creative Shop stamper, and I would say that they're very close, um, but they're not exactly the same. Um, I do end up liking how this one stamped, though. Um, it has some pretty nice squish to it, so squishy, and also has a cat hair stuck on it because that's my life, and it's stuck to everything. Lime and yellow Sharpies. To dilute the Sharpies, we'll use 91% isopropyl rubbing alcohol. You can get this at the drugstore, and as you can see, it says for use on minor cuts, burns, and scrapes, and we're gonna be using it on our nails because we are rebels and we love breaking the law. Okay, now that we have everything, let's do this. I already put on my base coat, so I'm starting with my black base polish, which is Painted Polish uh, Midnight Mischief, which has quickly become my favorite black polish because it's just so opaque and applies so easily. I highly recommend it. It really didn't need a second coat, but I like to add a little more thickness to my nails, so I added the second one. And we went out of focus, but all right. Now I'm putting on my white base China Glaze White on White onto my middle and index nails, and I just always seem to use this one as my uh, white base for gradients. It just seems to work really well for that. On all nails except for my pinky, I'm applying uh, Simply Peel from Bliss Kiss uh, Liquid Latex Barrier because I am about to make a real mess on all these nails. Next, we'll work on our gradient and you just take a cosmetic sponge wedge that I got from Ulta and paint on your uh, polishes you're gonna use for your gradient. And can these uh, be any brighter? They're like retina burning, I love it. As you'll see next, I'm just really not that great at gradients. I don't know, I just kind of suck at it. So this is, okay, I just rock back and forth and I leave all sorts of white mess. This, I did this off camera because I just, I could not capture it. So this was like the second and third layer, I think. And then I do one more coat for safe measure and it kind of looks okay here. So I was satisfied. <laughs> And then we'll do the super satisfying latex peel. It's just so seductive. Oh, this is my favorite part. I was going to do uh, this nail also as a gradient, but the last one I just really am terrible at it. So I decided to do like a dry brush um, technique and I did a layer of uh, key lime twist first. Then I took um, Thrill Seeker, which is more of the green, and um, wiped off most of the polish in the bottle and just kind of like smushed that on there. And as you can see, it's, I thought it was gonna be more contrasty and it just, I don't know, it just, it was showing up better in person. It's not reading as well on camera. I was really hoping for like more of a textural look, but I don't know. Now for some super scary zombie stamping. Well, I don't know, I guess it just kind of looks like your old ass uncle, maybe. <laughs> so put on some uh, Midnight Mischief uh, and then scrape, scrape, and then take your stamper and roll it across to pick up the image. Now if you get some 
extra crap on there. Just take, you know, a dirty ass piece of tape you have lying around and you can use it to um, take off the excess stamping. And there you have it, your old ass zombie uncle. I'm gonna stamp zombie uncle as he's gonna be known onto my middle nail and I like to line it up both ways. So I'll turn my nail around a bunch of different ways to make sure I'm lining it up widthwise and lengthwise. And then once I get it to where I like it, I smush. Oh, there he is. We're gonna have to come up with a better name for him. Now I wanted my index nail to say zombie like 5,000 times. Um, so that's why I chose that one. So in case you didn't know it was a zombie mani, and now you know. A smoosh. There it is. Now I'm pretty annoyed at myself because as you can see I had that whole entire image to use and I used the one part of the image that had like that little gravestone is cut off. You'll be able to see it on the stamper. See that adorable little gravestone is cut off on the top and I end up stamping that part at the top of my nail. You'll see in a second. I ruined it. <laughs> And now we're all done with this little latex, so bye. Now we're going to paint on our stupid little broken gravestone with some Sharpie. So I take my Sharpie and draw it onto some wax paper. I don't know why I said wax paper, like it was a question. Let me tell you, this whole voice over thing is really, really weird to record. Okay, so now I'm just taking my yellow Sharpie and putting that on the wax paper. And now for the magic part, you take your uh, brush, you dip it in the isopropyl alcohol and you get the Sharpie all nice and dissolved and then you can paint onto the nail. Now, it's very tempting here to just like go crazy on this and put the Sharpie all over the black because you're gonna be like, well, you can't see it over black, but actually the Sharpies do tend to leave a cast over the black. So you wanna try to be as careful as you can. Now you'll go ahead and do the same thing with the green and here's our broken tombstone again. And I had to be super careful at this part because it was pretty thin. And then that's definitely Rick's hatchet if you watch Walking Dead. And then that little hand. I'm pretty sure that that's Merle's hand. Spoiler alert, everybody. Merle loses his hand! Although that's not really a spoiler. That was like season one, episode two or something. I'm not a crazy stalker. Since this whole Manny is just got a lot going on. I kept my pinky pretty boring and I'm just uh, gonna put a teeny tiny little stud on top of um, some HK Girl top coat. I like to use a small orange stick to apply studs. As, I don't know, just kind of is the easiest for me. And that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna finish this off with some HK Girl top coat on the rest of my nails, including old as zombie uncle. Um, and I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching my very first YouTube tutorial. This was a long time in the making and I'm just really excited to get it started. And um, special shout out to everybody that came over to sub after I posted on Instagram that um, I had my channel up even though I didn't have a video up. You guys, a bunch of you came over and subscribed so yay, I'm not going to be alone over here. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you subscribe. I hope you like. I hope you um, leave me a comment. You can follow me on Snapchat uh, at twi underscore star. That's actually how you say my name. It's twi star. I know some people have said it twister, but it's twi star. So again, thank you guys for watching.